Hey everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll be explaining all the core concepts of the Web3 Unity SDK 3.0. This video series assumes that you already have some blockchain knowledge, but don't worry, we will create a new series later on that will explain core concepts of blockchains to the beginners who are eager to dive deep into the Web3 space. So what is Web3 Unity? Web3 Unity is a modular and open source gaming SDK written in C Sharp. It connects games built in the Unity game engine to the blockchain. Now you might ask yourself, is the 3.0 completely new SDK? And it's not. 3.0 is built on top of our previous SDK and is powered by dependency injection, so its modularity and extensibility is unparalleled. Now, let's get started. First off, let's go to our gaming dashboard and let's create the project ID. Type in dashboard.gaming.chainsafe.io. Here, you will be greeted with Get Starting with Chainsafe Gaming, so type in your email address here. Next, let's wait for the verification email. I'll pause the video. Now, after you have received your email and pasted in the code, you will be greeted with My Projects window. Click on the plus sign on the right hand side of the screen. Enter a project name. I will name it web3.unity tutorial. I will set the project stage to building and target mobile desktop browser and that should be it. I will click on create project and I will get the project ID. Copy it because we will need it later on. Now let's go to the Unity Hub and create a new Unity project. I will create a 3D one with the built-in render pipeline. I will call this project web3.unity introduction. I will not use the Unity Cloud. Let's click on Create Project and wait for it to open. Okay, we're inside of Unity. Let's go to Window, Package Manager, and inside of it, we need to add the package from Git URL. But in order to do that, we need to go to our docs that are located in docs.gaming.chainsafe.io and inside of the Getting Started, copy the link of the Git URL for the core SDK. Now, the Web3 settings will pop up and we need to add the project ID that we have copied over before. I will use Windows Clipboard Manager to access the project ID that I had copied previously. Then inside of the chain settings, we already have one chain set up and that is Sepolia and that is our default chain that all of our samples are running on. Now you can also add multiple chains because in the version 3.0 we have added the ability to switch chains easily. Let me add, for example, the OP Sepolia testnet and maybe even B3 Sepolia testnet. Let's also select a webhook for the Sepolia. For the Optimism, it's already selected and B3 doesn't have a webhook at the moment. These webhooks or web sockets actually will be tremendously useful when we start introducing the blockchain events. And now to showcase how easy it is to start reading from the blockchain with our newest release, let me exit these windows. Let's create a new folder called scripts. Inside of it, I will create a new C Sharp script and call it Web3 Unity Test. I will open it up and inside of it, we actually need just two fields. Both of them should be strings. The first one will be the ERC contract address. And the second one should be the ERC account balance of because we need to know which ERC20 contract we want to check the balance of. And because we don't have the wallet initialized just yet, we need to manually input the wallet that we want to check. So let's make this start method async and let's await the web3 unity dot instance dot initialize and pass in false as the parameter. Now our web3 unity instance is initialized and we can start reading from the blockchain. Let's type in web3 unity dot web3 dot erc20 dot get balance of. Let's pass in the erc contract address and let's pass in erc account balance of as the second parameter. Create a variable called balance. Let's await it and let's simply debug log the balance and write here balance of and that should be it. Now let's create a new empty object and call it web3 unity test, drag and drop the web3 unity test script onto it. And let's also drag and drop the web3 unity prefab that is located inside of the packages. This prefab is the foundation of our communication with the blockchain. Inside of it, we have only three scripts. First one is that web3 unity that we have called previously. Then we have the connection providers and by default, we only have two wallets. First one is MetaMask, which is only used in WebGL. And the second one is Wallet Connect, or if you're watching this later on, it should probably be renamed to Reown. And both of them are not added by default, but you need to manually add them by clicking on Add Provider button. And you have in our documentation how to set up the project ID and project name for the Wallet Connect slash Reown. 
and inside of the Web3 Unity test, let me quickly populate the ERC contract address and ERC account balance off. Okay, I have populated those fields. And before clicking on play, we actually need to go back inside of our IDE. And in here, I realized that I have put the balance of account for the contract address. So let's quickly fix that. Now let's go back into Unity and test this out. And as you can see, I already got the balance, which is this number. And that's it in regards to setting up the Web3 Unity and also immediately reading things from the blockchain. Now in the next video, we'll be diving deeper into how you can connect the wallet so that you can also write to the blockchain.